There it goes. She's not getting away this time. Ooh. Ooh. She wants to pull. Hey guys, I'm out on Mille Lacs today. So I'm gonna be doing some fishing, targeting walleye today. It's gonna be fun. I'm primarily fishing with a dead stick in here, shiner minnow down there on a treble with a jigging rod, jigging a minnow. So that's my plan for the day. Hopefully I catch a few walleye today. Let's see if he hits or if he swims past. He's going that way. What? I don't understand that. They get they get within like four feet of my lines, and then it's like they turn around and go back. I wonder if I'm missing something, and there's some structure over there that they're hitting. Wonder if I pull the camera in. Wonder if that's scaring the fish away. See if that makes a difference, huh? Here we go. First fish of the day. Nice. First one of the season. Yes, sir. Look at that walleye. Nice. Little guy. But that's great. Yes. The shiner minnow that did it. We gotta get a picture on the board. All right, let's get it back down there. This was on my this brand new rod. Just put new line on it yesterday, obviously, because uh, it's actually brand new rod reel, line, hook, sinker, everything's brand new as of yesterday. Just got it on here. This is one of the line cutters things. I'll show you later a little bit more about this, but this is sweet. You can just pull your line through it and cut it. Uh, super excited, first walleye of the year caught on this. This is the Tuned Up Custom Rods 36 inch dead stick. Works perfect, treble hook on down with a shiner minnow on it. We're gonna get another one set up here and hopefully catch another walleye. That was awesome, 18 and a quarter inches. That was great. It was a soft bite too. Um, grabbed it, must have been playing around with it, didn't hit it and run with it. As you probably could see, the, uh, the line didn't pull out of it. This is a bait feeder reel. Um, it's a 500 and I got it set really light and it wasn't pulling on it at all. I had to wait until it was going and then it was game over. It was fun. That was awesome. I can't wait to catch another one here. Oh, fish on. Oh, we lost it. I don't know what that was. Got it. Same fish. Saw it run away and come back. We're not letting it go this time. All right, all right, all right. Walleye are coming out to play. It's just a little guy, probably 12 inches. No biggie. We'll let her get back down there. This is just, uh, I'll show you here in a second. God, I got another one down there already. Nice fish. We'll let her go, let her grow. All right, I gotta get this other line down there. This is exciting. Fishing about a foot off the bottom right now with my lines. It seems to be working out well. All right, shiner's down. Now we got to get a minnow head on this guy. I'll just do a small guy here. Thankful for eggs. Simple things. All right, so this is the spoon I'm using. It's got gold glitter on the back. It's a rattle, 
and then we've got the fun Wonder Bread type um, clown on the front with the eye red hook uh, tied directly to the line, no leader, just with a little minnow head on it. Uh, it works perfect for jigging. Um, it is uh, glow as well, which is awesome. You probably, I don't know if you can see this. It does glow. Probably see it better in dark. Ooh, we got a fish down there already. I got to get back down there with this guy. You'll see how quickly this drops too, which I love. You can, I don't know if you can see the screen, but we got walleye under us here. We got to get down there. We're on them. Here we go. We're jigging him back in, I think. Here he is. I don't know how easily you can see that. I don't have my phone hooked up to the graph right now because I'm needing to take pictures with it. Soon I'll be getting another phone and I can dedicate this phone that I have now to this. It's crazy, we've been waiting all day for, for a bite. Um, four, five, six hours today before I had any bites at all. I had one touch this line and it just didn't do anything with it. It hopped right off. I thought it was a small little perch, um, but who knows? So I don't know if it's the time of the day. Otherwise, I literally just turned my camera off and pulled it out of the water, my fish camera, my Markham, um, which unfortunately, because of this layout and the way I've got everything set up, had to be really close to my line. So that may have scared them away too. Um, so that's interesting, but, uh, we'll see what we can do now. I'm, I'm excited here. Oh, here we go. Fish on, I think. He hit it. There it goes. Nice. Hooked up. This one's got a little bit more weight. Not fighting as much though. It's probably about the same size. Oh no! Got off right at the bottom of the hole. Oh, no. Oh. About a foot off the bottom is where I'm getting these hits from. They come up off the bottom and they attack it. That time I saw it coming, I was getting ready to start cooking some brats for dinner and saw it starting to come off the bottom a little bit towards it. I jigged it just a little bit just to get a little bit of excitement in the shiner minnow and then he came up and nailed it that was fun just wish i would have gotten it top side try to get a close up here because I, I know i don't have my uh live scope cam on right now but if you can see here we've got i'm like a foot off the bottom it's my weight and then this is my jigging rod over here with a minnow head on it. This is a pretty sweet thing. This is a buddy heater. Um, I forget what this is called. JD's Hot Racks. It's, it's just sketched into the, the top of it a little bit here. It's really cool. I'm going to get this hot here. I've just got the heater on medium. I'm going to put a little bit of foil on there just because I haven't cleaned it since last year. And uh, I'm going to throw some cheddar dogs on there. And that's what I'm going to eat for dinner. It's about uh, 3.45 here. i got to keep an eye on my rods. I've got, I'm getting more action now that I was getting ready to eat than I have all day. So I'm pretty excited. Let's have a good night, huh? Hopefully I go home um, with a new PB and out of minnows. I've got a lot of minnows, so I doubt that will happen. I can see them down there. Let's get this guy moving a little bit here. 
while that's heating up. Look at that rod tip. That's from the Shiner Minnow. That boy can pull. Looks like he's running from something though. Alright, let's grab some tin foil. So I just roll up the tin foil on the edges a little bit here. Just kind of make it into like a little dish. I've got a pan with just in case I caught enough fish, I was gonna maybe do a fish fry, but with night bite coming on and whatnot, I decided I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna do dogs, but this way I can just chuck this away in the trash. Yes, I bring Menard's bag usually from a trash can. So that'll go right up there. That's nice and warm. We'll throw a few dogs on there. I got three here, cheddar jalapeno. That will be the dinner champions for tonight. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. That's what I'm talking about. Yummy. He seems to want it slowed down when he gets close. It's the second time I scared him away. You must be small. Here he comes. I'm going to just... There we go. Lunker. This is an inline reel, so you're not going to hear the drag go. Fudge, and he got off. He got off, but they're going after my other. Maybe. Wow, this is crazy. What's going on here? Man. I hate missing fish. Dang it. That's all right. That was fun. I thought I had him though. I had him halfway up and he got off. I must have needed to put a little bit more oomph behind it. I thought I had him pinned. He must have shook. This isn't the world's longest rod, but it wasn't even loaded all the way. Hmm. I screwed that up. I had to do a better job. It's probably 11 guys within... Uh, quarter mile of me here in their shacks nobody's really close to me which is kind of nice but uh they're all on a ridge line behind me which i almost moved to because i had like no action earlier today it could be the time fish started biting around three but literally five minutes before the bite started for me at least on both of my lines i pulled my camera out of the water my fish camera so it could be that the fish camera was scaring the fish away too. We'll see if we can get hit here. Here we go. Pause. Let him take it. Oh, he backed down. Bring it down to him. Pull it up just a little bit. He's right in between both of my rods. Looks like he's going for the shiner. Oh yeah. Why isn't he pulling? There it goes. She's not getting away this time. Ooh. Ooh. She wants to pull. Getting close. We'll let her run. Drag's lo pretty light. My line's not super heavy, but. Oh, that's a that's a nice one. That's a nice one. 
That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Hey, look at her. Look at her. Nice. We'll measure her. Exact same size. I wonder if it's the same fish. Look at that. Walleye number three for the day, for the year. Pretty girl, 18 and a quarter again. We'll go ahead and let her go back down. See if we can't do a release here. It's out of the way. Let me see. Bye bye. That was fun. That was fun. Shiner minnow on a red treble hook again. Doing work. This is brand new. It's my walleye bumper board from Musky Bumper. Love this thing. Works out great. Holds the fish in there pretty well. A lot better than just my ruler that I had before. All right, everybody. That is it for the day. Caught three walleye top side. I caught a few. I had a few more on the line that didn't come up. Um, I lost a handful of them today, but it was a fun day. Got first walleye of the ice fishing season. Um, that was super exciting. Uh, got into the tournament that's going on right now, so I'm pretty excited about that. Didn't see any perch come through this spot here, um, but it's always fun to get out here to Mille Lacs. I got a little bit to clean up, quite a hike back, um, and then the hour and a half drive home. So thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Um, if you like ice fishing content, you want to see more of these videos, please hit the like button. It helps out my channel and hit subscribe as well so you get alerted when I have new ones coming through. So thank you very much and take her easy.